Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review from NECA from their, you know, retro style figure lines of cloth figures It's Snake Pliskin from Escape from New York And this is a figure I've been looking forward to getting um, He actually has the newer articulation that they're putting into these 8 inch cloth figures um, that I first showed off in uh, Taylor from Planet of the Apes. He was the first figure I noticed with that new articulation. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I know they just announced uh, and showed pictures of their Friday the 13th Part 6 Jason, who is also sharing this type of level of articulation. So I will be looking forward to that, but that doesn't come out till the summer. So it'll be a while before I get that. But you can see him in the package here. He's got a leather jacket on. Got some camouflage pants, got some spikes on the ends of his shoes. We'll be getting him out of here and taking a closer look. He's got a couple of guns, <clears throat> throwing throwing weapon. He's got the countdown thing on his hand for, you know, the amount of time he had to find the president and escape before he would die. Nice eye patch. It, it does have a, a pretty good resemblance to the young, younger Kurt Russell. So, you know, there's that. On the back, there's no real write-up on here, but, you know, you see him out of package holding his guns. He has functional holsters. He has interchangeable hands so he can throw that little throwing star thing. Removable jacket, uh, wrist timer, and wrist tracker. Apparently, he has his tattoo, which we'll check out. All right? So there you go. I'm going to get him out of package, and we'll take a closer look at this guy. Snake. Pliskin. Be right back. All right, we have Snake Pliskin out of his package, and this guy is cool looking. I really like this. I like what they did with this figure. It's really nice. I like how the holsters work. Um, the handgun slips in there nicely with a scope on it. Nice scope, and he can hold that in his hand. If you want, you see fingers made to go by the trigger so there's that this is the timer that's on his arm this is how much time he has to live um, if you're not familiar with the film there's some spoilers it's a very old film though basically New York is turned into a giant prison the president of the United States played by Donald Pleasance crashes into the prison of New York they take one of the most badass inmates they have that's not inside that prison, Snake Pliskin. And they're sending him in to rescue the president. To ensure that he will rescue the president, he is injected with a poison that will kill him in 24 hours. That's the countdown. He has 24 hours to find and rescue the president and get his cure. So there you go, that's that's the premise of that. And then the other thing on his other wrist is a tracker because the president has a chip in him that he can track. That way he can find the president. A very good film, very good film. Um I do believe it's a John Carpenter film. So if you check if you if you if you're a fan of like John Carpenter, like Halloween or things like that, you want to check out Escape from New York. Fantastic film from the eighties. A good one by uh, from Kurt Russell. And this this you know, he, he made this character an icon, pretty much. Even though the sequel, Escape from L.A., was far, far flawed and just not anywhere near as good. But if you're looking at him here, we'll get a quick uh, turn around. You see his leather jacket's on him nicely. I, I'm probably going to take that off to show off a few things, but... And you see his gun here. I didn't even realize this. The, the silencer on the Uzi comes off, the silencer and scope, and they have their own place, and then the Uzi comes off, put him there for a second, go home Kurt Russell, you're drunk, and then you just plug them back together and you get this really cool gun, that's a nice touch, really nice touch, they didn't have to do that, and it even has a strap so you can carry it over his shoulder if you want to. But just some nice details on what he's carrying around his belt. Nice details on the pants, the camouflage pants. These boots are just fantastic. Look at that. Just fantastic. 
let's take some of this stuff off. You see here he is holding the uh, star that he can throw. And his hands just unplug. And you can plug in the other hand. I'm going to leave him unplugged to take off the jacket. Take that off. Take that off so we can take off his jacket. Oh, and he's got one of those gel things in there. Let's get rid of that. And yeah, there is some... Some purple splotches on them that I'm just... Uh, they're okay if, as long as you leave his t-shirt on. There's nothing I can do about that right now. You can put his timer back on. I'm probably going to display him without the leather jacket. Because that's how he was in most of the film. He didn't have his leather jacket on. We'll put his other wrist on him. And it helps if you twist when you put him on. There you go. And put the tracker on him. But I wanted to do this so you could see the new articulation they added. And basically is they added the swivel to the arms, which gives him more range of movement. And they added a swivel in his thighs, in the thighs, which is the same as uh, Taylor. So you can get a lot more dynamic poses into, into him than you could with the earlier um, retro figures, 8-inch cloth figures. And yes, as they said, he does have his Cobra tattoo. We zoom in. You can see has a lot more detail on it than what was on the back of the box, but I think this is where we're getting our purple bleed from. But that still is a great touch, that tattoo. This has got purpling here. Mm, nothing I can do about that. Not going to worry about it too much. Unless that's on purpose. Maybe they're bruises. They kind of look like that. <laughs> Whatever. This wrist uh, tracker doesn't like to stay on very well. You got to kind of get it back a little bit. You take a look at his face. Nice 5 o'clock shadow going on there. Eye patch. Hair sculpt is really nice. Very reminiscent of Snake Plissken. Let's give him his gun. The silencer on it. We'll give him his other gun, his little handgun. So yeah. These are just hitting stores now, so if you see him and you're a fan of, of Escape from New York, you're going to want this. I know Hot Toys had their own version. A lot of people can't afford Hot Toys. NECA is giving us figures that we can afford and fit better in some of these collections that people have. Not a lot of people can really afford these 1-6 scale, 12-inch huge figures. It just At an 8-inch scale, this is a really good figure. So, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a Snake Pliskin from Escape from New York. And yes, more of that good artwork that comes with these. You all be good. Well, that tracker's going to have you on it instead of the president. And he's going to come after you. Snake's a badass. Later.